All right, so I'm here at my Polaris Razor. This is a 2019 Razor Turbo. Um, I'm just gonna go test through a few different of the modes on the impact wrench here on the lug nuts. This isn't like a big test for this impact wrench. These are only torqued to, I think, 120 foot-pounds. So this is more than capable for it, but it'll kind of show how good, how much power it does just for spinning them off quickly. Um, and like I said, the, for the compact size of this, the 430 foot-pounds that it's capable of is really more than I need. All I really use it for is lug nuts here on my truck and trailer as well as some other various like suspension components on say my Razor here or any other vehicle service work in. It, so far it, it's been more than I need. Um, so I'll just jump into the max speed setting here. So if you click, this is your speed setting button here, you've got four speeds to go through. I'll just go ahead and show it on the max speed, speed four, just to see what it looks like taking off a lug nut and then I'll go through kind of the other more I guess fine tuned settings for if you want to be a little bit more um, how you want to how you want it to actuate when it takes off different fasteners so here's speed 4 taking off like I said this is about 120 foot pounds so like I said no problem on that spins it right off um, we'll go ahead and put it back on so now for putting it back on, I've kind of just hand started it. But what I like to do with this is I'll actually click my mode button here on this side. And I'm going to go into speed one. That's the lowest speed in, in auto mode. And what that's going to do is I can go full speed with the trigger and it's going to automatically shut off. Uh, once it gets like maybe a couple impacts and then from there I can go with my hand impact wrench to get the correct torque so this is like a little bit more delicate I like to hand torque everything and this is just a good easy way to not over torque anything on here and you can do each one to an accurate amount and then come back with your torque wrench so like I said I'm just gonna pull the trigger full speed and not let go and just let the impact wrench do its own thing just like that so I had my finger on there still and it completely shut off on its own almost instantaneously after the first impact and so that's a pretty light torque like that you could come into like I said there's three speeds in auto mode so you could come up to speed two or three depending on what your what application you're doing it'll let it impact a little bit longer in each of those speeds I like to just do speed one like that maybe speed two for lug nuts and it gets tight enough on there to hold the wheel in place and um, and then like I said you come back with your torque wrench and what I'll show now if we go into speed let's go back to speed um, we'll try auto mode here and we'll do speed one actually let's go speed two so speed two in auto mode and speed one for taking off of a fastener it's gonna take it off and then as soon as it gets loose it's just gonna completely stop and then from there you can take it off by hand um, and then I'll show you something different with auto mode speed 3 so I'm gonna jump over to this one here so again this is auto mode your mode button over here puts it in auto and speed number 2 so like I said I'm gonna full speed this and not take my finger off the trigger and just let the impact wrench do its own thing. See my finger still on the trigger but as soon as this lug nut came loose the gun shuts off and that's really nice so you're not flinging lug nuts across the room or maybe it's not a big deal for this but other applications that is really nice and then from there you can take it off by hand. Uh, now, if we come over to it and change it to auto mode speed three, this is actually my favorite one and this is a really cool feature. Uh, so it's gonna do this kind of the same thing, but rather than when it gets loose stopping, it's gonna stop for just a second, but then it's gonna speed back up and just slowly take off the lug nut nice and smooth, um, almost if you were doing it by hand, but it's gonna be automatic. So again, in reverse, I'll come down to this lug nut. So auto mode, speed three, 
This is about 120 foot pounds, like I said, on the lug nut. And once again, I'm gonna just hold the trigger and let the impact gun do its own thing. See, and I still got my finger on the trigger the whole time. Take the lug nut right off, and it's this much slower RPM to walk the lug nut off the rest of the way. So I really like that feature. That's probably the coolest thing about this, and it's really nice. Um, I like like on speeds one and two that it auto stops, but then the speed three has a little bit more torque, and it also does that auto walk off, which I I think is really cool. Um, I think it's really impressive. I guess like how smart um, the impact guns are getting. So that's kind of all the modes there. Um, like I said, you can do if you hold your mode button. That's going to light up this separate uh, blue light here, and that gets rid of your variable speed trigger, and that just goes to full speed as soon as you pull the trigger. Um, but that kind of covers everything there. I didn't go through every single speed on here. Um, if you come back to your standard mode, you got your four speeds. I did speed four initially just to show the power of it, but if you're doing a lighter application, you can come down to three, two, or one, and that's just less speed, less power, but it's not doing anything fancy like auto stopping or slow takeoff. It's just, it's still all fully controlled with your finger, but you can vary your power depending if you got a smaller fastener or a bigger one. Um, and you want to be kind of careful of how much torque you apply to it. Really the last thing on here is just this LED light button. So, you know, when you pull your trigger, the light comes on auto, but you can click this button here and have it turn off so now it's not operational I mean really right now in a garage you don't need it so maybe it's your preference to keep the light off I usually just leave it on um, I think it's kind of nice to get some illumination on here and it is a nice dual LED underneath here as are most of the different Makita drills and impact wrenches and impact drivers and it seems to do a pretty good job of lighting the area but like I said I think the my, fav my favorite feature about this, above a lot of other uh, impact guns out there, I like that auto speed 3 of once it gets to that loose setting, it slowly takes it off. Just like that. And I just, I really think that's a cool feature and really works out well. So this, is, this has been a great addition to uh, my tool set. I have several other Makita tools, so it you know it just it works out nice being on the same battery platform. But basically, for all the service work I do here on my razor, lug nuts, suspension, even the center axle nut, uh, which is much higher torque than the lug nuts, and some work I've done on my utility trailer, this is more than powerful enough. Is completely replaced my. Um, air impact wrenches, my pneumatics, which is nice obviously so I'm not dragging around air hoses all over waiting for the compressor to ramp up. Um, this is just good to go with the battery. Uh, we can have several of the Makita batteries laying around for other tools and really the compact size of it. For the amount of power this has, it's a very lightweight compact tool. And you could even throw a 2 amp battery on here and it'd probably be plenty enough to do you know, all the lug nuts you need here. I just kind of run a 5 amp on it because it's a little bit of a, I guess, heavier duty tool than my standard subcompact drill. Uh, but that's really it to it. Like I said, this is a pretty new tool for me, but haven't seen too many other YouTube videos out there on it, uh, at least for, you know, personal ownership reviews. So I wanted to get one out there and just say that this has been really good. This is kind of Makita's, uh, I guess, not their most compact. They do have a subcompact impact wrench, but this is, you know, they have a high torque, mid torque, and then this one. I wouldn't really classify this though as a compact, even though the size is compact, but um, the torque ratings on it are getting close to reaching into a mid torque level. They're not quite to a mid torque and you wouldn't expect them to be at that mid torque level for the size of what this is and the weight. But it's like kind of in between a 
a compact and a mid torque and I think it kind of for application wise of general garage use it's a, a like really good sweet spot of everything um, so I guess I just want to do a quick walkthrough on on this impact wrench uh, since I like this so much and hope everyone enjoyed the video and appreciate you watching.